Welcome to artworkexplained.com.au. In this lesson, I'm going to explain how to curve type around a badge using Adobe Illustrator CS3. So let's create a new document by going up to File, New. Let's name it How to Curve Type Around a Badge.ai. The file size is perfect, A4, landscape. The color mode should always be in CMYK and raster effects and preview mode, just leave it as is. So I press OK. Now I want to send down some guides from the rulers, so I need to bring the rulers up, so I'll go Command R, click, drag, like so, click, drag, like that, and there we have just some guides there. So let's create two circles. So I'll go to my ellipse tool, I press Option, click, let's type in 100 as the big one first, that'll be the edge of my badge, and now I'm going to create a 70mm circle and this is going to be the size of the type so I press OK now I want to split these in half so I go over to my scissor tool click on that anchor and click on that anchor and straight away you can see that when I click the second one um, it made uh, the whole section cut in half so obviously the top section isn't active or oh, isn't um, joined to the bottom half so let's um, select the top half first and go to the T tool and hover over and click. Now I'm going to type in some words how to curve type and click the white arrow tool to deactivate the typing and I'm going to zoom in as well. So let's uh, go back to the white arrow tool. I'm going to click this vertical line so I can drag it down the bottom there and also I'll repeat that to this side and then I'm going to go command shift C which centers the text I'm going to change the typeface as well so I go Helvetica just a nice version like so and I'm going to put the type at 26 so that looks pretty good now I'm going to repeat that process for the bottom section let's go over to your T tool click and this time I'm going to start typing but you'll notice that as I start typing the the words are going to disappear so don't worry about that so here we go um, a round a b a d g e round a badge so what's happened there is um, as I've typed there's been no more room so it has still registered my letters but it's just not showing it so what we need to do is go to white arrow tool click and drag that vertical line and you can see that the the text has come back and likewise on this side just click and drag that up to there what I might do is just take away the guides at the moment because I'm going to deal with this little vertical line I want the the type to run that way as it is but I don't want this type running upside down so what I need to do is click and drag and that brings it the right way what right way around but it's still not aligning so what I need to do is lower this so we go up to the character tool and I highlight this and I, work, I want to go below so I go minus 18.5 enter and there you have it you've uh, nicely curved the type around a badge now it looks pretty boring at the moment so let's uh, spice it up by putting a few more extra features so let's put uh, well let's get the guides back up go to our ellipse tool move over to here and I press option click let's make that 6 by 6 and go OK and just move it around oops it easy just move it around using your black arrow tool or just go use your keys on your keyboard and now I want to mirror that onto the other side so I'll go over to the reflect, uh, reflect tool I click it and I press option click the center I press, um, or I can go preview mode, and yep, that's exactly where I want to go. So I press copy, and there you have it. You've uh, mirrored it perfectly. If you didn't do it like that, I would just go Command Z. What you could do is click that again, click there, and then click here, uh, just down below, and notice how the um, the circle is coming around. If I also press Command Option Shift, it will snap over there. So that's two ways of doing that. Now I also want to put a soccer ball right in the middle there. So let's go find a soccer ball. 
and I'll just turn the guides off before I do that. So I go Command O to go find it, click on the file, go open, and here we have a soccer ball. So what I want to do is um, select everything. So I go select all. I go object group because I want to group everything now and then go edit copy so let's uh, just close that down now we're back at the um, original artwork and I want to paste it in so I just go over to edit go paste and as you can see the ball is quite large so I need to reduce it so let's go to windows go down to transform and let's type in the width 48 Yep, that's a pretty good uh, width, but uh, it's not in the right position. So what I might do is just click, shift, and drag it up. That constrains it, and I might just tab it across, tab it up, click off the artwork, and I might just zoom in to just get a better look. Just go back to the black arrow tool, click on the ball, and remember, because I grouped it, that's all I need to do is just click anywhere, and it just groups that, that football, that soccer ball, I mean. So I'm happy with that. And that looks like some nice type that's curving around a badge. Now before you send this file to a decorator, you need to convert all the type to outlines. So let's save this file with the type active. So I'll go Command S and I might just put the word at the end active. And I'll press save. Okay. But then let's um, select uh, select all and go up to type create outlines and that's converted the type to outlines and I might also group everything so I'll go uh, object group and now everything's selected and I'm going to save a copy um, and this time instead of active I'm going to make this outlines so I press save press OK um, and now that's saved as uh, converted to outlines but I need to go back to make this active so I just go command Z command Z and then there you have it so that's how you curve type around a badge I hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching artworkexplained.com.au